Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, it's Jamie here. Yesterday I posted some um, hair clip designs and people were asking how I got the techniques done. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about how I got these done. These are really, really simple. These are the engraved versions uh, in the file. It does have a scored version if you choose. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with this one first. Again, this is what it looks like when it's finished. This is the engraved portion. So really all I did was I'm using these watercolor metallic accent paints. Can you see that? I got these on Amazon. I love them. They do have a tendency of being very, very metallic. So if you don't like that look, I'd suggest using something else, but pretty much basically you wet it down, wet down the cake with water. I'm using a regular brush. It does include a brush. And this is all I did. I basically got down into this groove with these paints. And this, the cake sometimes takes a little bit to um, get all that color to come through. I'm gonna actually switch my brush to a different brush, get into the grooves a little bit better. I'm just using a round brush now because what I want is I want all of that color to kind of um, color all the engraved lines. Okay. These dry really, really quickly, um, but I just want to make sure I got get it into all of those grooves. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Okay, now that this is dry, we're gonna go ahead and get this white color over it, and all you do is you put a little bit of white on a sponge and it's the smallest amount so just make sure that you remove the excess and you are literally just going to take it from the top to the bottom and very lightly scrape the white over it it'll take a few passes Keep doing this until you get the look that you want. Like that. If you want a couple of these bold spots, just kind of press a little bit harder in that area. And that's it. That's how you get that technique. This one and this one use the exact same technique. Difference is instead of the um, instead of the metallic paint, I used this Waverly chalk paint for the green one, and just kind of paint it in there. Whoops, it's a bit much. Making sure cover the entire thing and I used way too much paint here. I'm just gonna 
dab it off. And then for this one, I used white as the base. Now when you use white on an engraved surface, you know the white's gonna kinda turn a little um, creamy color, I guess, because it mixes with the um, the engrave soot, but it's okay because I didn't want this to be so stark white anyway. I wanted to give it that kind of fall look. Could have definitely used um, like a cream or an off-white, but I had the white out, so I just used it. And just make sure you get all in those crevices and nooks and crannies. That's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and get these dry quick so we can move on to the next step. Okay, now that they're dry, you're gonna take your makeup sponge, again, dip it in the white paint, very little amount on the sponge, and again, just do that swiping mark, swiping down until you get the look that you want. This is super light touch on this. And if you get the white in the little, in the middle, that's okay. I actually kind of like the way it looks. It makes it look a little bit, oh, there we go makes it look a little worn. So that's it. We'll let that dry and then seal with poly. For this one, I used two different colors to get that look. So that's why you're seeing the dimension on some of these. So first color was um, this pumpkin orange. Um, again, we are doing the exact same thing. We are just taking a sponge ever so slightly and swiping over to give it a little bit of color. And then I went over that with Barn Red. And I just used the same sponge and just made sure it was very light. And then if you wanted to go back over and get some more orange in there, you can just, basically you just keep doing this until you get the look that you want. go let that dry and seal it with poly this one's super easy all I did was use the colored uh, watercolors I did use a flat brush like this one um, I used the pink and the purple for this. So I just go ahead and get this all, um, get this pink. Now with this one, you don't want to use a very wet brush because I didn't want it to go into the engraving. But if it did, it's not a big deal. So you just take your brush and very lightly swipe over. Now you see how wet my brush is? It's a little too wet. Say, oops, sorry. 
it's a little too wet. So I'm just going to go ahead, take that off so it doesn't go in, and reapply the color to the brush. And now swipe down again. That's better. And you'll notice as the, the cake dries up, the color comes more concentrated. And now I'm just gonna go into the purple. I really didn't wash my brush, I just wanted to get it wet so it would get some purple. And then I brought this here. And then just kinda brought it together. That's it. I just kind of blended them so they would look like that. Then I sprayed it with clear coat. The last one is the cow, um, and what I did for this one is, again, I just did the white, but I did the white so it wasn't um, a little bit, a little bit water, more watery, um, because I wanted to get that really dark color in there. So you can either stain, which is a really good um, option. But what I've done is I kind of went like this and then kind of wiped it off. So the, I lightened up the base. And now all I'm going to do is take black again with my sponge, super light on the sponge, and pounce very lightly because you don't want to get the back. This will probably take a couple of passes just to get it to where you want it. Get those spots filled in. a little harder on the edges because I do want that defined black line on the outside. And then when I'm done with that, I'll just take a little bit of white. I use the same sponge. Whoops, too much there. Not a big deal. Just come back into your black if you have more.
it. Spray with poly to seal and you're done. I hope you liked this video. If there's any other questions I can answer, please feel free to let me know. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.